I was a 28 year old youth minister. My wife was just diagnosed with her second brain tumor. She was in a coma. His name was Rick. He was a 40 something old yeah, youth worker that was a friend and he was unemployed. And we just, he'd come by my office and we'd talk for an hour, drink coffee and, and, and talk about both our situations. Today I would have called him my Stephen minister. He listened, drank coffee. We talked cancer, bills, death, raising teens, and why bad things happen to good people. He didn't have any answers, didn't have a counseling degree. He just listened. He was a friend. He was somebody that was 20 years older than me that I could share my highs and lows with. Our church needs some people like this. We call them Stephen ministers, and we need a few more. Stephen ministers are the after people. They're after the diagnosis. They're after the death of the loss of a loved one. They're after the job loss. They're after the marriage ends. They're even after the kids turn from children into crazy teenagers, or those crazy teenagers grow up and move away and go to college. Stephen ministers have big ears and small mouths. They listen. They don't blab what you say to anyone. They don't give a lot of advice. They just walk alongside you going through this tough time. They meet with a person who is always the same gender one hour a week. We believe here at Woodridge that no one should grieve alone, that no one should go through this stuff alone. So Stephen ministers are our answer. They kind of help you walk through a tough time. Stephen ministers are not Bible scholars. They're trained listeners. In fact, they have 50 hours of training to learn how to be good listeners. And if you like to help people, if you had a tough time in your life when someone helped you, if you can be a faithful secret keeper and can pray, and you can also just give us one hour a week and take the 50 hours of training, then you too could be a Stephen minister. We really need you. We need you to help us with this. So start praying about this, uh, being a Stephen minister. Uh, you can explore it uh, by talking to other Stephen ministers, by filling out an application. If you'd like to consider this, or if you need a Stephen minister, go to our website and go to woodridge.org forward slash Stephen dash ministry and, and click on there and you'll find a place to say, I need to talk to a Stephen minister. You can click on that, fill that out, and we'll get in touch with you very quickly to get you a Stephen minister. Or if you're thinking about and want to explore more about becoming a Stephen minister, click on that one that says Stephen minister application and fill that out, turn it into me or to my office by June 16th. That's the deadline, we have to get those. And the training is gonna be in the fall, but we need to get the process started and start talking to you about what it really means to be a Stephen minister. This verse just kind of sums up the whole process of how God comforts us in our tough times. In 2 Corinthians 1, verses three through four, it says this, praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. You can see the process. God comforts us. We learn what it feels like. We learn how it works. We experience God's comfort. And then we help others the same way that God helped us. And, and we become these wounded helpers. God gives us the grace. We share the comfort or the grace with others, and he allows us to minister to others. He allows us to be the listening ears, to give the hugs, and to be Jesus with skin. If you wanna be a Stephen minister, or if you need someone to walk, walk alongside with you through a tough trial, please go to that spot on the website, click that.